Uh, it started overheating. It looks like a relay went out. Luckily, I have a cool little switch I keep in the car and I keep some extra relays, but I wanted to share this and then I also went ahead and bought relay center because I just hate relays just sort of bolted around the car's fenders and stuff. Which is why I think this relay went out because uh, it was pretty close to the radiator, probably got hot and uh, started coil started burning out in the in the relay so i wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of uh, how does this thing work um, you can see here this is the relay center that i have um, and then i bought some relays and you know, this is all the pins and all that kind of stuff so this is pretty cool because it gives you the fuse uh, and then you can wire in each one of the relays here. So that's really cool. Um, so I'll be wiring in two relays for this. And one of the relays is for my fans and the other relay, I just put a little small pusher fan, uh, the condenser. So this is what I'm going to be working on today. It's got, uh, it's got this cool, uh, relay center. And essentially once you wire in, crimp the, uh, these pins on, then uh, you can go ahead and snap in the relay. I'm gonna wire the relay uh, in from the existing one that I had, just kind of bolted. And then these are the Bosch style relays uh, that go on here. So pretty simple. Uh, so that's kind of today's, th uh, this morning's project. And uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get to it. So this is my relay center here. Um, this is the one that comes with the LS3 GM Performance uh, Harness Kit. So this is for the ECM. I bought this bad boy right here. Now I already figured out the amounting for this. And uh, I'm essentially going to use these push pins here. These plastic push pins. They work super nice. Bam, push in. And that's especially important because underneath this is the tire so you don't want screws or anything like that so if you end up using like screws or or bolt hardware just make sure that they're flush from underneath um, so that's why i like the pins here um, so i've already figured that out how that's going to mount and from here i'm going to recut these or most of these here Okay, so this is going to be 30, which is, there's numbers on, on the relay here. So 30 is this one right here. So we'll go ahead and plug that one in. And you got to push it in until it snaps. There we go, maybe you heard that. That one's in. All right, that's the first one. This is ready to now snap in. So, bam, there we go. Now the next one, we're gonna wire uh, this, and we're gonna go ahead and wire up uh, two pins for the fuse for number two relay, and that's gonna be for the pusher fan. Later on, when I do the LSA, that's gonna be needed, and that's why I went ahead and do, did this now to kind of prep for a couple small fans that's gonna sit in front of the 
heat exchanger. So I'll be all set when that's when the time comes. Uh, we'll have some heavy gauge wire um, for that to kind of carry the amperage and we'll go from there. All right, now that's snapped in there. I'm gonna go ahead and snap in the other side. That's for a future fuse. Bam. Now, now you can kind of see what I'm doing here. That's if you want a watertight seal, if it's gonna be exposed to water and stuff like that. But like I said, this is a rubber gasket and uh, it's got a rubber seal for the top. So it's gonna be right here. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem at all. A little dielectric grease and you're good to go. All right, now, so now I've got the fuse. Now I can go ahead and start doing the next relay. which is going to come off of this one here. Okay. So the, this next fuse is going to be right here. The first fuse will be in here. So it'll give me about that much wire. All right. Here we are. Let me, uh, bit lined up here. So, get you up to speed. I went ahead and repeated that process on the second relay. Went ahead and bolted this down with the supplied brackets. I need to get a couple eyelets and I need to get some more harness tape and some loom. Other than that, this thing should be ready to go. Now I need to go ahead and get a fuse. Uh, I'm gonna use a 35 amp because these relays are a 40 amp. So I like to have a 35 amp here. And then we'll test it out. Now the only way that it's gonna be able to test out because the low fan, when the, when the fan comes on low, is actually through the LS3 GM performance parts relay kit. That's part of the ECM already. Um, the high fans come on through the ECM, um, that used to be merged into one on this one. I split that, so that ended up being this relay here. So I went ahead and pulled out the low one um, to test once this gets up. I think it comes on around 205, something like that. Or I also have it where the trinary switch, uh, when it gets up to pressure when the AC is turned on, it'll actually fire this relay as well. So this thing can be triggered either through high temp or through the AC um, uh, coming on. Then I have this one also triggered with, with that, with the high or the AC, uh, because that's the pusher fan. Later on, that's gonna be the LSA pushers that's on the heat exchanger. So that's the way this thing is set up. Now, I still have to figure out how I'm gonna mount this. It's kind of in a weird position. Um, so this is the lid here. This just goes on you can see here, it's got a little waterproof seal, which is cool. Um, so all that goes on there. Everything's wired up. So we're all good. And there you go. That is our new relay system. Now what's cool is when I wanna put a new relay in, like for my headlights, I just add another fuse, add the relay, and then wire that up, and we're good to go. All right, so here it is, all set, all ready to go. Still gotta get the loom, a little bit better brackets for this. And I think I'm gonna fabricate a plate for that. But I tested the AC, and when that turns on, the fans come on, so that's the first step. I'm waiting for the, the reach temperature to see if the fan will turn on again. So that's the next step. 
But thanks for watching me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, as always, like if this was helpful for you. Uh, subscribe and comment below uh, if you know some ways to install or create your relay system. Uh, for me, I just didn't want to buy the ones that was pre-wired and having to sort of crimp those wires on. Obviously, we, that could have been done in like 20 minutes. Um, this took me the better part of the morning, so um, I definitely had some time invested in it. But with this car, this is kind of what I do. Sometimes I have to do iterations of things. But uh, until next time, we've got some more LS swap uh, videos coming up, the basics. Uh, and I'm also going to start a new playlist uh, on the LSA uh, blower stuff going on the LS3. So make sure you hit the bell and uh, so you can know about when the videos are coming and subscribe. Thanks guys.